Hello, I'm Gwen Preston of Resource Maven. We're here at my conference called Financing Opportunities, and I'm joined by David Hotman of Orstone Mining. Thank you so much for being here today. Well, thank you for the invitation. So I was introduced to Orstone not that long ago, actually, uh, through Bruce Winfield, who I've known for many years, a very good geologist friend of mine, um, who certainly has had some good successes in his career. And he's recently joined your team because he was so interested in this porphyry target that you have in Chile. So why don't you take us through what that project is? Okay, well, maybe to start off, uh, uh, Bruce has worked with us uh, on and off in various companies for over 20 years. Right. Uh, we started off working together at El Dorado Gold. Mm -hmm. uh, as uh, Gary Nordine and I, one of the other directors, and myself were founders, and uh, Bruce was our VP Exploration for yeah. a while. Uh, our CFO is Mark Brown. He was uh, our controller at El Dorado. Right. And this goes back... Um, 25 years ago, uh, and so um, uh, so it's a, a team that's kind of reconstituted to uh, to focus on what we like to call the the hanging fruit in the marketplace right now, mm -hmm. which is uh, uh, targets that are just about drill ready, uh, that we can go in and confirm some data, and then. Um, use the drill rig to create wealth. And the exciting thing about the project we found in Chile is that it is a very large target, mm -hmm. um, over a kilometer by um, uh, seven or six to 700, 800 meters wide. Um, and there's a lot of leakage right around it up to the surface of copper mineralization and alteration. And um, so it's kind of connecting the dots, so to speak. So. Uh, uh, I think Bruce, as well as all of us, are, are very excited about the potential to uh, find a big porphyry. And certainly you've done, you've spent the last year doing some of that, doing the work that you described, which is getting it ready to be drilled. So there was some IP done, for instance, and you flew more IP because you needed higher resolution to have confidence in the, in the target, right? Uh, that's right. Uh, the vendor of the property had done very wide-spaced uh, IP lines, um, they were um, uh, measurements 50 meters along the lines, but they were a and they were a kilometer apart. Right. Uh, so we went in and, and we did uh, lines in between, mm -hmm. uh, two lines in between to confirm it, and we did what's called an A spacing of 150 meters, which allows you to see better resolution and deeper. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have confirmed the target. We've gone in and, and done a lot of mapping and sampling. Um, to uh, uh, get more of a precise um, orientation on the drill holes. Absolutely. And so now it's time to raise some money so you can go in and do that drilling. I mean, that's, that's really the story of Orstone right now. Yes, uh, we have a, a, a small market cap or a low market cap right now of under $3 million. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're uh, raising approximately a half million dollars Canadian. Uh, that will easily drill the project, and we're also looking at other targets in the region right. uh, for acquisition. And so um, true wealth is created at the drill bit. And so we don't want to go out and do a, a $5 million financing mm -hmm. and blow out the capital structure. Um, so we're, we're keeping the, uh, the financing and the, the capital structure low um, and uh, being able to have as much uh, wealth creation potential on a per share basis as we possibly can. We're major shareholders of the company. Absolutely. I mean, it, it, everything that you say aligns very closely with the kinds of things that I look for in companies. I love pre-discovery stories. I love vo low valuations of stories uh, that the market doesn't really um, understand. I love ready to. I love stories that are ready to create wealth. Should the exploration succeed, of course. Right. Um, and I like well evidenced targets. And and when you're looking for a buried porphyry in Chile, you're in the right place. The evidence is there. Um, so yeah, I, certainly it made sense. It made sense when I saw the story. I hope that's uh, right. what you find when you go out and try and tell the story out there. I'm sure. It's the kind of story that I would expect people are interested in these days. Yes, it, it resonates with uh, a, a lot of investors and even some institutional uh, level investors. And uh, as I mentioned, we're trying to uh, pick low hanging fruit. There's a, there's a time here in the industry where, where not, a, not everybody can raise money. Mm -hmm. There's not a huge amount of money being raised. And so we're finding targets that are just, just in that drill ready phase. Uh, where we can spend all the money creating wealth at the end of the drill bit. That's perfect. 
Well, I look forward to uh, to when the drills hit the ground in Resguardo. Resguardo is that what it's called? Resguardo. Resguardo yes. 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 It should be in the next uh, forty five days to sixty days. Exciting. Well, definitely keep me in the loop with the news, and I will share it with uh, with all of my followers. Great. Thank you for your time. Thanks. I appreciate it.